Okay, here's the songs I want to ask you about on this. Tell me about Life on the Line, where the world's a whacked out dark place and you got to give it to God to make sense of it, maybe. Well, I can't talk about that song without telling you that there is a woman named Madge, M A D G E, mm -hmm. Hodges, who has given me permission to use her name, that wasn't contemplating. She was going to commit suicide. And. That song came on in her car, and she decided not to. She was going to turn into oncoming traffic. Mm. I still have I still have the the email she sent me, and she's she's become a a a friend. I mean, I've never met her in person, but she's become a sure. Let's call it a digital friend. I know that sounds cold, but um, that was a very very powerful song, man. That that was uh, I think I've received more more uh, emails and letters about that song and that record than any other song. Yeah. You know, Life on the Line. I, that, I, that's probably my favorite song on the record. It's just it's just amazing when you feel like on the inside you're dying, you know? And, and too many times it's probably not the biggest stuff in the world, but you take it like it's the biggest stuff and it just eats at you on the inside. And somehow you found that and if it stopped her from steering left... Hey, that that's that that's huge to me. I mean, that that's that's humongous. I mean, we've had we've had just in 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 our community here, where my kids go to school and some other surrounding schools. I could, I could think of three suicides in the last five years, from from seventeen, eighteen year old kids. It just felt like there was no hope, nothing left. Broke up with a girlfriend, got cut from the football team, whatever it was. You know they. It, they just couldn't even see as far as next week. Right. The, the pain was too much right now, and it's just... Yeah. I didn't mean to bring up that subject, but it's, you know... And no, that's, no, that's real stuff. 